busy morning this morning. I got the kids to school. I need to go uh, back home, get ready. Uh, typically, I'm ready and just go straight to work, but uh, I have to go get Brody's got his first Cub Scout meeting tonight, and uh, he doesn't have his uniform yet. So I need to go pick that up. And of course, the store doesn't open until 10. Uh, I'm gonna go home, work for a little bit, go to the store, grab what I need for his uniform, and then I'm going to head into work. Last night was a little bit of a rough night. I ended up falling asleep uh, before I was actually able to export. I got most of the editing done. I need to add some, uh, some music. But that means I didn't work out. My intention was to edit, export, work out last night. And I got to the editing part and I fell asleep. And that kind of makes me think about balance. I mean, balance is so important in everything you do, whether it's work, school, parenting, relationships, balance is key. It's also hard to attain. It's hard to attain the right balance and you kind of have to keep working on it, keep pivoting, keep pushing yourself to get better at balancing what you have in your life, trying to balance work and your kids and your relationships. That is something that is, uh, it's hard to do. Amy just left, making myself a little breakfast. Yep, that's two tortillas and two eggs. Super simple, a little salt, a little pepper. Healthy, a little carbs to get you cooking, a lot of protein. Finished product. A little Jalula. Makes everything right. All right, we're off to go get Brody's Cub Scout outfit. was our zombie mall we just passed it uh, it's been vacant for about five years it's a lot of talk about what's gonna happen are they gonna do anything with it like nine years ago that thing sold for something like hundred like 95 million dollars and then two years ago it sold for like four and a half million dollars you would think that the property value has declined actually the city of Crestwood, where I live, is actually one of the most uh, sought after locations in the state because of housing prices are decent and the schools are incredible. Problem with that land is that there's not a ton of land. There's definitely a big chunk of land, but there's not a ton. And most of it is parking garages that are three and four levels deep that uh, are not structurally sound anymore. And nobody wants to deal with tearing those down filling it in, whatever, fixing, whatever they were gonna do with it. They finally found a developer that was willing to do it and they were able to come up with a layout that the city agreed with. And basically, from my understanding, is they're tearing the entire thing down, tearing out all of the uh, parking structures and all that, filling in the hole. And then he's going to basically put an open air mall with some housing, some like condos and stuff like that and restaurants and high-end grocery store we're really we're really pumped because that thing has been nothing for a long time and the boy scouts get so legit that they have their own store what got the cub scout uniform now it's off to work that took a way longer than i thought it would I just got a text from a friend who, in watching the video, she noticed that I haven't been wearing my seatbelt. And, fair, I probably haven't been. I'm really terrible about that. So, that's for you, Susan. Good day today. Got a lot of stuff done. 
got some plans in place for the rest of the week. Just gonna pick up Brody. He's got Boy Scouts tonight. And after that, take him to his mom because it's actually his mom's night tonight. Then finally, get home, edit, work out. Hopefully, spend some time with Amy. I know she's got a lot of homework. And then, yeah, that's probably enough. Looking sharp, dude. American flag. Love it. Boy Scouts of America, all the good stuff. Great night. Cub Scouts was hectic, but good. Reminds me of when I was a kid. A little nostalgia happening, I think. Today was a great day. A lot of awesome stuff happening. Brody's first Cub Scout meeting. What? When did he become old enough for that? The kid looks huge in his pictures. Also look for a crash course announcement on Friday. Possibly a new website on Friday as well to go along with that announcement. We'll see how the timing works out tomorrow. And then tomorrow I also have my weigh-in. We too. I won't lie, I'm pretty nervous. I really want to do well, and I feel like I've been eating okay. I'm hoping the cardio will make up for any mishaps I may have had, but I haven't been doing a lot of soda. I did like two sodas, and it was typically with like a mixed drink. I haven't eaten any fast food or anything crazy fatting, so fingers crossed. Cardio, that equals some weight loss this week, but I'm really nervous. I don't want to not have weight loss, but there's a good chance that I might not.